Sometimes, in order to deform an object like this, you might prefer to use the spin tool to create the cage object. All you have to do is uh, shift K to activate the add-on, press OK, and let's draw a profile shape that is somewhat matching the geometry. Press shift K again, and let's turn on spin, change the axis to Z in this case. Switch the user perspective by pressing numpad zero. Okay, this is close, but we just need to reduce the spin steps to four since this object has four corners. We also need to match the angle since there seems to be a 45 degree difference here. Simply turn on main transforms. And since we are spinning this around Z axis, let's type 45 degree on the Z rotation. That matches the shape perfectly, but it seems to be a little too tight in some parts it's penetrating the object, uh, which in the case of cage deformer, it will not work. So turn on spin profile transforms and let's translate the shape a little on the x-axis. It's the tad like this, just enough so that all parts of the object are enclosed by the new shape. Once satisfied, all you have to do is press bind, confirm. Select the cage object, press tab to switch to edit mode. Preferably, you can also turn on proportional editing. Uh, let's also turn on X-ray. I'll go to front view for this. Let's select certain parts of the object, press G to move them, and let's do some modifications. And once satisfied, you can go back to object mode again. Now we already have a shape key set with the value by default set to one. If you reduce it to zero, you'll go back to your original shape. Let's turn off the X-ray. And you can now also animate this if you choose to by keyframing this value. Enjoy.